Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today I'm here to give you one massive book on haul. It's a new year and I need a clean slate. I don't want any books on my shelves that I did not enjoy or did not intend to read coming with me into 2023. So let's get down to the books that will be culled from my shelves. I know you'll recently have seen this in a video, but I will be unhauling books three, four, five, six, and seven of the Game of Thrones Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. So you'll recently have seen in the oldest books of my TBR video that I mentioned Reading a Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin, and I got over 250 pages in and I was bored out of my mind. I just couldn't do it, I couldn't continue. And with the help of an Instagram poll to really spur me into it, I decided, or rather you voted, that I should just unhaul the series and DNF and let it go. I really appreciated everyone who responded to that poll and told me their personal thoughts on the books and whether or not I should drop. It was actually really helpful, but I think in the end, the series just isn't for me. It's too slow paced, it's too slow going, and I'm just going to watch the TV series instead. I'm currently watching season two. And I did love A Game of Thrones, the first book in the series, so I'm gonna keep that one. But these ones are going now, and when I'm back in the Netherlands, where A Clash of Kings currently is, that is probably going to go too. We're gonna to talk about another DNF. So I am unhauling <laughs> The Diviners. The Diviners, Lay of Dreams, and also Before the Devil Breaks You, by Libba Bray and these are in the series yeah the Diviner series I was just checking for a moment it was called the Diviner series so I've actually already read the Diviners which I thought was good I had a good time with it I gave it three stars I thought it was middle of the road and then I started reading Lair of Dreams as part of a buddy read I buddy read the first one and then during the buddy read I just wasn't feeling it anymore and I had to quit the buddy read but I put it on pause and I always thought that I was going to get back to it and then I tried to get back to it and I just thought actually the reason I put it on pause was because I was very very bored and I wasn't enjoying it and the first book was a three star and if I wasn't buddy reading the whole series would I have continued on? Probably not. So having decided that and thought about that I'm just going to be giving up the entirety of the series. I don't need to hold on to the Diviners either. Okay some more books. This one's gonna be a bit Oh, I'm unhauling Beach Read by Emily Henry. I read it. I thought it was a good enough time. It was fine. I don't really get the hype. The hype didn't get to me. So I didn't love it as much as other people do. And it's on my best friend's wish list. So she'll be happy to read this copy of it. I'm also unhauling The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. This is one that I had on pause from a buddy read that I fell out of once again and I went back to it and I tried to pick it up and I was bored out of my mind. So it's just not the book for me. This is one where I felt a lot of telling was happening versus showing and although the writing was beautiful, I didn't like the character, I think this things came too easy for him and I just was not enthralled by the story so there was no point in me continuing on with the book. And so I'm, I'm letting it go and that is fine. Quite a few DNFs in this one. Princess of Souls by Alexandra Christo. I haven't even tried this book but I'm just going to unhaul it. I wanted in a giveaway which came with several of other books so I didn't enter for a book that I'm not interested in, don't worry. So it was part of that giveaway. I thought I was going to give this author a second try after To Kill a Kingdom but I've seen middling reviews from people who felt the same way that I felt about To Kill a Kingdom and life's too short, I'm gonna let it go. Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I read this one, I thought it was okay. I thought the first book in the series was okay so truly I shouldn't have read the sequel but I did and it was fine and it was actually I liked it less than the first one so I think it's just time to let it go and just admit that Lainey Taylor is probably not the writer for me and that's okay. That is okay. I love Laszlo though. He was great. And then more recently I read White Out by this array of authors and I thought it was fine. I didn't love it. I felt a bit cheated by the fact that it was called a novel everywhere but it really felt like an anthology and so let it go. Same giveaway, different book, Family of Liars. I was actually really interested in reading this one because I loved We Were Liars, but then I went to pick it up and I realized I think We Were Liars is a jolly good standalone and it doesn't need a sequel or prequel or whichever one this is. And again, I saw lots of middling reviews from people who actually liked the first one, so I thought I should not spend my time on it. We have The Vacation by John Mars. I read this one while on vacation and it was fine. I do think it was wild and 
entertaining and it ticked what I wanted it to do but I do think it was too far-fetched for it to keep a space on my shelves and so I will let it go but I will be reading more John Mars in the future and some of his later published things that I think might work better for me. I'm also going to be letting go of Kiss Cut by Karen Slaughter. I really wanted to try something by Karen Slaughter because I've heard that this author is quite intense in her gore and the horror element to her crime, which is actually something I'm really interested in reading and it sounded great. So I picked this one out from the secondhand bookshop without thinking too much about it. Then I went to pick it up and I actually looked up the synopsis on Goodreads. And although the synopsis on the back, I did read it while I was in the shop, only on Goodreads could I see some of the content warnings and it does, uh, it deals a lot with something that I personally find very difficult to read. It's not particularly triggering for me, but I just don't tend to enjoy reading that thing. So I now know this is definitely not a book for me because I wouldn't be able to deal with reading that topic. And so I'm gonna let it go. If another Karen Slaughter comes into my way in the future that's not around this particular crime topic, I will try it. But this one has to go. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Need I say more? I've decided this author is not one for me and need to let it go. We Are the Brennans by Tracy Lange. I read this one in October and I thought it was fine. I had a good time with the big family dynamic and I did predict some of the plot twists, not some of the others, and it was a really nice read. I just felt okay about it by the end of it and so I don't need to keep it. Don't need to keep it. Similarly with Trust, you can tell that anything that I don't like or is a three star middling read doesn't tend to stay on my shelves and therefore Trust is also going. I'm glad I got to read it because there was a lot of hype around this one and I was curious and I wanted to see why people tend to love it, but it just was not for me. Then we have Foundation by Isaac Asimov. As I'm doing my TBR challenge, it makes me really consider the books that I pick up and whether or not I really want to read them. This was taken from Hannah's Unhaul and I'm also going to be unhauling it. I haven't tried it. I wanted to try iRobot by this author and then when Hannah was unhauling a different book by this author, I thought, okay, I'll just give it a go. But actually, if I am going to read this author, it's going to be iRobot or nothing. So this is part of the nothing. It's getting steadily darker. Apologize for the light. We have Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. I got halfway through this book and I was so, so, so bored, which is so sad because the concept of this library and books being forbidden and only certain people can do certain things with it all sounds very fascinating, but it was just such a dry read and just so, it was just so mediocre that I thought, why should I continue? So I'm just gonna let it go. That is the theme for this unhaul, let it go. <laughs> The Other Black Girl was one of the biggest disappointments. It was just so, so disappointing. It's so not right for me in so many different ways. And I did not have a good time with this book. I fully ranted about it in my wrap up and it just needs to be gone. <laughs> it just needs to be gone. And I just, sometimes, sometimes I think about this book and I can't believe it but it's here, so I better believe it. And then this was also really disappointing. It wasn't a bad book, but it was just an okay book. And that is Women Eating by Claire Coda. I was really looking forward to this. It's vampirism, but it's literary fiction. And the premise just sounded so very good, but it was just so middle of the road that I was very disappointed by it. It just didn't go anywhere in terms of storyline. And it just had such a cool concept and didn't really do anything with it. And so, I was sad. We're on to the last books here. We have The Weight of Water by Sarah Crossan, which is one I did read. It's a novel in verse and it was nice enough, but it doesn't hit my spot of really good novels in verse in my life. So it doesn't need to join my novel in the verse shelf of favorites. I say that as if I have a shelf just for novels in verse. That is a dream for the future. Future Olivia Savannah shall have that. Current future Olivia Savannah has this and piles. Letting Go of Three Plays for Puritans by Bernard Shaw. I read Pygmalion and really, really enjoyed it and thought that I wanted to read more of his plays. Turns out I don't when I really think about it. So there we go, don't need to read any more. So I'm gonna let that go. That was also from a secondhand bookshop. I really, really try to read every single review copy I receive. I do not like to unhaul review copies unread, but when I was at an event, I got Mona and I just have tried to bring myself to read it so many times and I haven't been able to. So I think that's well enough time that it should be let go. I've had it for over a year now, I've tried. 
it's not happening. I'm also letting go of Enola Holmes, the case of the missing Marrakesh. This is the first one in the series. I read it for middle grade magic last year and it was nice and it was very, very good, but it was not the middle grade for me as a reader now. I'm less into historical fiction. And so as a young child, I would have adored this, but as an adult reading it, I just thought it was an okay book. Baby Teeth by Meg Grayen. I read this one. I read this one. It's also a novel in verse and it's about vampires. Vampires are one of my buzzwords. I was really excited, but in the end, I didn't like this one that much. I just felt like it kind of went nowhere, a bit like woman eating. I did read another novel in verse by this author at the very same time that I read this one. And I really liked that other one, which was middle grade. So that one is staying on my shelves, but I'm happy to let go of this one, even though this was the one I was more excited for in the first place. Ah, yes, the giveaway where there's some books I'm letting go of from the prize package and that is Bad Things Happen Here by Rebecca Barrow. I'm not much of a young adult thriller reader. If I'm going to read a thriller it's usually adult and even then it's quite rare so when I saw reviews of this were just middling I thought it's best to let it go. Red Sparrow by Jess by Jason Matthews. I got this in my first year of university. I think I've mentioned before, you know, when you just go to uni and you've got all this money and you're like, I can spend it on whatever I want. So you hit the sales. This was in the sales and there's a film adaption of this with Katniss, the person who plays Katniss, Jennifer. It's not coming to me. She's so famous. I'm sorry, there's a lot of Jennifers. All I can think of is Jennifer Hudson, but it's got that very famous actress who plays Katniss in it. And at that point I was really enjoying her films and I was going through and just steadily watching everything she was in. And I was so certain I was gonna get to Red Sparrow, but my phase ended before I got to Red Sparrow. And I looked up reviews and it does seem like a thriller, but not the kind of thriller that I would pick up. So I'm gonna let it go to someone who would pick up this kind of thriller. Ordinary People by Diana Evans. My sister read this, my fellow middle sister, April, and she did not enjoy it. And I trust her. So I'm gonna let it go without even giving it a go. She said, she said it was mediocre and I don't have time for mediocre books. Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms. I read this towards the end of last year and I was very, very disappointed in it. I really wanted a black middle grade adventure fantasy that I could enjoy. I did not enjoy it. I thought it was really bad but I will find another middle grade black adventure fantasy because there are plenty out there. I'll find one that I like. It just was not this one. Out of the Sun by Essie Edguin. This is an essay collection and I learned a lot from this essay collection and it's one that even though I've read it and I'm unhauling it, I think I'm gonna be recommending in the future because there's just so much that people can take away from this collection and learn. It was more so not the content, but the structure of the essays that didn't get along with me. And I have quite a few essay collections that I love. So this just sadly does not make the cut. That's the only reason why it's going. Midnight in the Snow by Karen Swan. If you watch my December wrap up, you can see all of the reasons that I do not like this book and while it had merit and it had some good elements to it I do think the things that I didn't like about it were just too many for me to ignore and I just don't want books like these on my shelves. So yes the last two are also from my December wrap up so if you want more reasons about why they're not staying you can watch that but actually I don't think it's going to be too insightful because I'm unhauling The Winter of Second Chances by Jenny Bayless and Meet Me in London by Georgia Toffolo. And these are two Christmas romance books that I read in December. This one has a middle-aged woman as the main character and this one is a bit more of your standard full of tropes. And I thought both of these were good, but not great. And that is the only reason why they're going because I only keep books that I think are great, brilliant and wonderful on my shelves. And while they were a good time, they're not gonna be here for a long time. And there you have it. Those are all of the books that I'm unhauling at the start of the year. I kind of whizzed through them and raced through them because I've already talked about all of the ones that I have read in wrap ups. I hope I gave enough time to the ones that I chose not to read and explain my reasons. But yeah, keep tuned for this channel. I tend to do unhauls regularly, but also my wrap ups, the opinions can get a bit spicy. So stick around. Please let me know in the comment section down below what was the latest book you've unhauled and if you don't unhaul books what was the latest book you disliked please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time i have a new video and you know what they say onwards and upwards it's celsius